Hi, we're so glad that you're watching us today because we've got some wonderful people joining us. We're going to be talking about what they do and about future employment because it's always good to be employed and to have that paycheck coming in. Why don't you go ahead and introduce yourselves? Hi, I'm Annie West. And Dave West. We're the owners of Express Employment Professionals here in Frederick. Uh, yeah, and exactly where are you in Frederick? We're over by the airport. We're on uh, Aviation Way. 411 Aviation Way. Nice. And tell us a little bit about your business. Well, um, we're a full service uh, employment services uh, company and we work with a lot of clients in the area to uh, fulfill their needs that they have to meet their production goals and that kind of thing. And uh, the best part of the uh, job is that we get to uh, work with uh, people throughout the county that need employment and we place them in those positions uh, that they meet uh, the standards for. Have you Love found it. that it's been really busy since maybe last March because of everything with the pandemic? Well, actually, you know, we've struggled a little bit uh, because of the pandemic because uh, the client companies uh, aren't really sure what's going on, what's going to happen. Um, so uh, we're we're very looking forward to uh, 2021. And uh, our business you know, is based on a lot of. Um, face-to-face, one-on-one interaction. So that's been a little bit of a struggle, but we're, we're still doing it. Frederick's a wonderful community. It certainly is. Yeah. Um, there are gonna be some people who they are looking for a job, and especially teenagers are still trying to find out what they wanna do with their life, and even young adults. How can you help them maybe make that decision? And there are some kids who know when they're in elementary school, you know what, I'm gonna be a firefighter, I'm gonna be a teacher, I'm gonna be a nurse, but there are others who are really trying to find their way. How can you help facilitate that for them? We can do some interviews and we really pride ourselves on getting to know people and developing a relationship. And I would say to middle schoolers and younger people, listen to your gut, go with your passion. Don't just choose something because, you know, oh, maybe I'll get a hundred bucks a week and that's all I need for this. No, go with what you feel in your gut, what you were born to do, what your, what your passion is. And if they need somebody to talk to about that, we have employment specialists and we can help with that. No, yeah, definitely. We have, uh, you know, maybe not teenagers, per se, unless it's older teens, early 20s type of thing where, you know, they still don't quite understand what they really want to do. And uh, we were able to put them into some positions um, that uh, where the, the, com the client company doesn't necessarily have to hold, hire them on full time, but they can, they can each try each other out, um, decide if that's something that really is they're passionate about. Find a mentor, find and, a mentor and be in their, you know, face and someone, if you share a passion with someone, they will be more than happy to, you know, if you don't have a, a parent or, you know, that can understand, there's mentors, there's, people are very generous with their time when they share a employment passion. Very nice. What's and more important than your, your job? Everyone has to have one. And what's more gratifying than being fulfilled with that? Absolutely. What are some of the jobs that you help people to find right here in this area? Is it primarily things like maybe in nursing, medical, or is this region rich with different opportunities for people like engineering, maybe teaching? Yeah, uh, the health the health field is very strong in this area, although uh, we personally um, don't do a lot of work with that because if we did that it would have to be a direct hire right to the company uh, and it, as I mentioned we do a lot of evaluation hire where both can check it out that kind of thing but we do a lot of light industrial skilled trades we just placed a restaurant manager right up the road here in Middletown um, so we you know we run a full gamut where you know we're looking right now for a general uh high level general manager executive uh, position that we're trying to place it's pretty so varied it, it, it's a very it's community. really quite varied um, but i would say you know uh, more than half of our positions are light industrial that you know it's in the logistics uh, warehousing logistics uh delivering uh things at the moment 
management, uh, skilled trades, HVAC, uh, those kind of things. So. You said something about skilled trade and HVAC. There are a lot of kids, especially when they're in middle school, they're being told, you've got to go to college, maybe you've got to go to military. They're really drilling it into these kids at a younger age when they're teenagers. You have to know what you need to do. To get a good paying job, do you have to go to college? Is it something that you have to go into the military? Or can you actually graduate maybe from high school and learn um, a trade, some skills without having to go to college? Definitely, yeah. There's um, there's a lot of great resources here in Frederick County as far as you know the community college, Hood College that you know that provide services and resources to get skills in HVAC or you know the skilled trades. Um, and I saw another gentleman um, from the electric company that you guys did an interview on, and um, they actually bring people on and pay for their apprenticeship and pay for some of those resources uh, those to go to those. Colleges, I so. was visiting with a young man in our neighborhood and his mom was adamant that he go to college but she was also adamant that he have a backup plan and I thought it was so wise and so smart because he was an athlete in high school and they thought for sure that was going to be his road but he um, has been doing electrical um, apprenticeships and internships and the more I visited with him that is going to be his road nice. and he kind of knew that and I liked the way he was counseled by his parents and told him don't put all your eggs in one basket sure mm -hmm. now you know kids know uh, what a good paycheck is they hear different you know yearly rates what can somebody as maybe like an electrician or a plumber make a year oh uh, boy you know it, it's all Depending on their experience and skills, but you know, it, they can start off in the, you know forty thousand dollars and then you know move on up from there. Um, so you know, depending on uh, what you know what the company needs are, or if they actually go out and they open up their own company along that line. So and any type of certifications they can get, um, internships, entrepreneurships. You know, it may seem like a trivial thing, but that that helps with placing them, always be looking for more knowledge, more experience. Yeah, there's so much information on, online anymore. Um, like for us, you know, we're somewhat in the human resource, so like SHRM, uh, the Society for uh, Human Resource Managers is a great resource in the area. There's a, uh, there's a Frederick um, Society uh, that you could uh, call up and ask questions about that. But uh, yeah, no, uh, you know, obviously if you do want to, if you are somebody that does want to go on to school um, and get a degree, whether it be associate's degree, bachelor's degree, or, uh, you know, a graduate degree after that, um, you know, we're, we're definitely behind that. Uh, but it, is, it, is it a requirement these days? Not necessarily. And both Hood College and Frederick Community have great career um, organizations that help they they have with great counselors and um, programs that assist kids with that just really, kids, you know, they have to speak up and like we're saying you know just be the going. noisy one keep yeah. going through with it <laughs> well you had brought up something about um you said online and I tell my kids all the time watch what you're putting online because oh, it could yeah. be offensive yeah to a future employer and sometimes these kids put things online that I, I it just makes me so upset please tell me as a mom am i crazy is that really an issue maybe to a future employer do they go back do they look at some online activity of course Definitely. every employer looks at your facebook page instagram one silly what you might think is funny could not get you hired mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, um, you know, you, they get your resume, they, you know, and then they immediately go online and look, look nowadays to see, you know, where you are in social media and it can, it can put a bad uh, blemish on you right away. And if maybe they want to do that thing, your for, resume might be great, but yeah, uh, if they want to do that for fun, you know, at least Instagram has, you can be private. Facebook has that. But. <laughs> <laughs> better be private, better watch yeah. what you definitely say. Yeah. Well, what are some of the characteristics that are so important to getting a job? Great, 
great communication skills is obviously so if you know middle schoolers young high school people they should get involved with the debate team with any extra um you know Being curricular activities that they can you know if there's a play that they can take part in you know unfortunately with the covid situation a lot of that stuff is on hold but um uh, but communication skills are key especially in uh, what, for what we do and um, follow through you have to be a great listener you have to yes. you know, um, because we don't we're you know we have to go out and somewhat sell our services uh, but we're really not selling we're selling ourselves we're selling the fact that we want to really partner with our clients and get them the best associates that we can find them and then uh, we're actually selling ourselves to the associates, the people that, the candidates, um, that we are gonna work hard on their behalf to find them work. So, um, but you have to um, listen well, ask great questions, to really kind of figure out what it, what is it that um, drives their passion? What is it that's gonna make them enjoy going to work every day? Good um, integrity, following through, doing what you say you're gonna do. Those are all good characteristics. Yeah that they can start working on now. Yes, exactly. when they're teenagers, mm -hmm. yes. And it, it will carry through. It's those nice, good, lifelong habits that you learn when you're in middle and high school and it will definitely follow you through. Yeah, yeah. to have genuine relationships and express employment professionals is all about that with both, like Dave said, both the associate side and both the, the client side. It's, it's our model. <laughs> and you're very involved in the community. You helped us out with so many things at the radio station, and we look forward to doing this again. And if somebody wants some more information about your business, about maybe how to find a job, where can they get more information? Yeah, can, they definitely just give us a call at 240-629-8715. Um, and any, any one of us that picks up the phone is uh, going to help them out and answer their questions. Or we're at uh, expresspros.com backslash Frederick Mary. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for coming in today. Thank you. It's thank been you a pleasure. Guys. Always fun to work with you guys. They are great. And thank you so much for watching.